Good God, I'm running out of space. And these rod holders here, look at this. You can't put anything in here. This is made for some little, this Fluger, I got this for free. It's made for some little freshwater reel things. You can hardly fit them in here. Look at this. There's nothing but piss me off. All they want to do is fall out. I don't hardly have any new room. I got to have a place for my bow. I got, I can move these. Then I got these stupid things where you can only really fit two saltwater reels in here. <sighs> this is all full. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make another one of these. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I wanna go fishing Cause it takes my stress away I wanna go fishing Try and cast my blues away I wanna go fishing I don't want to watch the clock I wanna go fishing I don't ever wanna stop Shitty day number three in Jacksonville, Florida. Raining, blowing, I mean blowing like crazy. Leaves everywhere, pollen everywhere. Look at the leaves stacking up. Yeah, here's my tattletales. My bamboo. Boy, look at this. I'm already getting ready to make new oranges. Wow. It's cold. It's miserable. Day three. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Crap, crap weather. I have possibly Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with my best customer, Traveler Bob. He's coming down from North Carolina. And look at this. I have been saving. This is going on almost two weeks. And a lot, I'm getting a lot of die off. There's my fiddler crabs. Yep, I'm getting a lot of die off. They must be freezing. But I try to keep them in a little bit of moisture. And they can climb up on here, but they sometimes they're all piled up here. So I've got all these fiddlers. For possible sheep's head fishing. I'm trying to keep them. A little warm here <laughs> there ain't no way to keep them warm keep it a crab warm all right well here's what I'm gonna do PVC fittings glue one-handed reciprocating saw PVC I'm using a uh, inch and a half inch and a half and i am going to make another big rod rack because i'm tired of those shitty ones that i got for free we ain't playing little zebco 202s around here all right time to get started Okay, here's the style I'm going with here. I'm going to split this. I'm going to have one up, rising up right there. And I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six over here. One, two, three, four, five, six over here. Same thing over here. They're all going to be equally spaced. So I can actually fit in real rods and reels. So that's the style.
son. Isn't this much better? And I got a few to spare. This stupid rack over here is not made literally for rods with reels, but it works great with rods without reels. So this room is getting mighty small, this tackle vault, and uh, there you go. There is a rainy day blowing gale force winds, at least for the last two days. Been blowing gale force winds, can't do anything. Just kick the leaves out of the way because they're flying everywhere. Go ahead and make yourself a rod rack. It's real easy to go buy a rod rack that can just take any rod, spinning rods, push button zebbies. It doesn't matter. That can take any rod. Spinners, it doesn't matter. These fittings aren't cheap. So I've got, I think, maybe 50 bucks in this. But for 50 bucks, I can't have a rod stand as versatile as that one. Or as this one. Or as this one. These are all fine and dandy. These wall racks, made them myself. Made these myself. They're all fine and dandy, but I only got two long walls. So there you go. Give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for everything fishing. Boating, aluminum boats, and Suzuki outboards. Thanks for watching.